Hello, it's Mark Mentor here for Markum 3D, and today we're going to be doing a time lapse of creating this model, which we're going to hand over to Teaching Tech to actually 3D print out. Sick! So let me just start off. I won't fast forward this bit. Um, this is a helmet that I've already printed, but I printed it in parts. Didn't really come out as nice. I would love to do a full 3D print, so I've partnered up with Teaching Tech. His YouTube channel is in the description. Please check him out. He is amazing. Um, he knows his 3D printing a lot better than me. But this is the helmet that I've printed off, and this link is down below from Thingiverse. Um, I know. I'm just going to go tab into edit mode. Let's first off, let's just fix up the mesh here. Uh, let's go wireframe. Let's click wireframe. Let's go tab into edit mode. First up, I'm going to go B. Oops, select on this side. B, and we will select all this. And I'm going to delete faces. So we've got just one half of the model. I just need to speed this up a little bit faster. And the mirror modifier. Beautiful. And is that still chugging along? That sure is still chugging along. So what I'm going to do from here is going to add modifier and we will select the decimate modifier. And I want to decimate this thing by not that much. Let's go 0.1. And I'm just going to tab into edit mode. Let's click apply. That's fine. And now the mesh is a lot smaller. So the, what I'm doing at the moment is I am just, I know this helmet fits my head, but I want to just make some slight modifications to the sizing. So I'm going to press O to turn on proportional editing up the top here. G, and let's use mouse wheel up, and it needs to be that little bit longer around the face. And I would love for this bit down here. And we'll just grab all that G, Z, and just bring that down. Just a bit there. And to me, that would fit my head quite nicely. Um, I might even just grab this section here, G, Z. All right, so now we've got a helmet here. I'm gonna turn on the filter for selection and I'm gonna press the select button. So now I can no longer click on it. So this is just gonna be our reference point. And when we get our basic shape, we will clean it out. Uh, we will get rid of it um, and work off our helmet. So enjoy the time lapse.
And there we have it. This is the time lapse of creating this helmet. Now, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps you up to date with my content. Now I'm going to hand this STL file over to Teaching Tech and leave the rest with him.